Hello friends, this video we are going to learn how, what is a SI unit and dimensional formula for conductivity. Okay, conductivity uh, sigma is 1 by resistivity. Conductivity is inversely proportional to resistivity. Okay, first you should know resistivity, then only you can calculate what is conductivity. Conductivity is inversely proportional to the resistivity. Conductivity before going to the conductivity, uh, resistivity, you should know resistance. Resistance is directly proportional to length, inversely proportional to the area. Okay, resistance is directly proportional to length, inversely proportional to the area. When the length is more, resistance will be more. When the area is more, resistance will be less because the area, when more area will be offering as a less resistance. Okay, that is the factor of it. So, R is equal to rho times of L by A. Okay, so we are our part is a resistivity, resistivity is equal to R A by L. So A I am taken here, this side L I am taken as a denominator. Okay, so resistivity SI unit will be ohm meter square divided by meter, area will be length into breadth or pi r square, meter meter get cancelled. Okay, resistivity is a ohm meter. Okay, so now conductivity, conductivity is a 1 by resistivity, that means 1 divided by uh, it is a ohm meter so we'll get as a uh, when we are taken denominator nu numerator ohm inverse meter inverse so far we got uh, resistivity conductivity si yes, unit will be ohm inverse meter inverse okay so what is ohm inverse that also we should find ohm inverse meter inverse we got okay ohm inverse r is equal to v by i so 1 ohms is equal to 1 volt by 1 ampere that means ohm inverse it's a uh, volt ampere inverse ampere inverse okay so it is 1 by resistance okay so ohm inverse will be volt inverse divided by ampere inverse okay and into meter inverse ampere from denominator i am taken as a numerator you will get it as a ampere plus 1 so when bringing numerator to denominator sign you should change okay a plus 1 meter minus 1 volt minus 1 now we should know what is volt okay voltage is equal to work done by charge so work done is a joules energy unit divided by coulombs okay joule per coulombs it's a volt si unit so instead of writing joule volt we can write joule per coulombs it's a inverse ampere plus one and meter minus one again it is joule inverse coulombs inverse ampere plus one meter minus one from denominator i am taking as a coulombs as a numerator i will get as a coulombs plus one okay so i will get the continuation of this joule inverse coulombs plus one ampere plus one meter minus one okay what is joules energy energy is a force into displacement okay so newton force is a unit meter is a displacement is a unit okay so instead of writing joules you can write newton meter it is inverse coulombs plus one ampere plus one meter plus one minus one okay so now we got as a newton inverse meter inverse coulombs plus one <coughs> ampere plus one meter minus 1 meter minus 1 meter minus 1 will get as a meter minus 2 okay so newton inverse meter minus 2 coulombs plus 1 ampere plus 1 what about the coulombs okay we don't have any dimensional formula for coulombs current is equal to charge by time so charge is equal to current into time so 1 coulombs is a is equal to 1 ampere into 1 second so ampere into second we can take it as a coulombs okay so ampere into second we can take it as a coulombs okay so newton inverse meter minus 2 ampere into second ampere plus 1 ampere ampere will get as ampere square so newton minus 1 meter minus 2 ampere square second uh, plus 1 okay what about newton newton is a force kg mass into acceleration kg meter second minus 2 it is inverse okay so meter minus 2 ampere square second plus 1 okay uh, so minus i am bringing as a inside so kg minus 1 meter minus 1 second plus 2 because minus 2 minus 1 will get plus 2 meter minus 2 ampere square second plus 1 okay so now kg minus 1 meter minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 will get as a minus 3 second plus 2 plus 1 will get as a 3 okay ampere square so it is a si unit for conductivity what about dimensional formula it is m it is l it is t it is a m mass for m length for l time for t current for ampere m minus 1 l minus 3 t plus 3 ampere plus 2 we got as a dimensional formula and si unit okay thank you